Hello and good morning. Welcome to my channel. My name is Zipora Nyokadwowero. Today I want to talk about jobs foreigners will not be working in Saudi Arabia. Oh, and to you if your visa is expiring soon. There is a possibility of not renewing it. Okay, things have been changing a little bit in Saudi Arabia since 2013 after the death of King Abdallah, the person who took is his, his brother and they had a new prince crown who is Salma. Salma has been a defense minister for a very long time. Now he's a prince. I kind of, he kind of have an idea of running a government. So he has been bringing a lot of changes of which is good and beneficial to Saudi people. As for 2017, the percent of those who are not working, I mean jobless Saudi citizen was 12%. And there is fear that if that number continues going higher and higher. Okay, we must admit that Saudi Arabia has accommodated a lot of people from outside countries. Yes, we are here in millions from Asia, from Africa, I mean all over the world. So, it's kind of that huge number sometimes, you know, might push somebody, it might work, uh, everything has merit and demerit to something. So, in this case, that 12% has been affected. The, I mean, the, themselves, they are saying that number is contributed by high number of foreigners coming to work in Saudi Arabia. So, kind of, they are cutting jobs for foreigners and creating that chance for Saudi citizens. Previously, women were not working. As you know, Saudi Arabia has that culture of, like, women are, before, now things are changing, but before they had that culture of women are supposed to stay in home, their children, take care of the home and that's it but now as you they, they are really trying to catch up with the rest of the world empowering women and more youths and encouraging them to do all kind of work so that means to create space for them some people will lose their jobs so sad so i have raised of 12 main 12 main places all jobs foreigners will not be working very soon so i almost have lost their job because if you go to when i came here in 2013 you could not trace a woman working in a supermarket it was very difficult maybe they like can manager or something in there but not many where people can see them but as for 2014, 2015, 16, 17, I kind of started noticing change because I could go to shopping mall and at the cashier, it used to be foreigners. You could tell, obviously you can tell foreigners from Saudi Arabia citizens, huh? you can tell by their looks, you know, there's a foreigner, there's a foreigner. So as for 2017, when I went, I realized a lot of change. The cashier now are not foreigners, are the women of Saudi Arabia. When you go to fashion shops, maybe dresses, shoes, I mean clothing outright, it was not, it, it's not like before men used to work. And you could say, obviously, they are foreigners. But this case now, women, they are empowering women so much. That means... They are serious and they mean business. Okay, they came up with something they are calling Saudization. Basically means empowering Saudi citizen and creating channels of increasing revenue to their government. They can no longer depend with oil because you know the price sometimes goes high, sometimes goes down. So they decided the best way to continue running their government without interference of no money or anything of that kind, they have to create something. We have to pay tax. Saudi Arabia have been a tax-free country since I, since it was, <laughs> yeah, it was. It has been a tax-free country for my eight years. I've been living here. This is my eighth year, by the way, and uh, this is my first time I'm paying tax. 
luckily I have done all my shopping it's up to done of like four months I will be going home so I had already done my shopping so I'm kind of off the hook of paying the tax yeah? I will pay tax maybe on some very few things so that side I'm very lucky okay when it comes to food I don't buy food when it comes to anything else I buy stuff only for taking care to Kenya, but not to use here. I'm provided with everything. So for me, tax, it's not going to affect me so much. But I know it's going to affect those people who work outside, and mainly men. Men, they're going to bear this because they are not... Pro okay, my job is a house. I do housekeeping. So everything we're provided with. But the driver we have... He can't, he's not provided with everything. No, just the salary. Everything he wants to cook, he wants to eat, anything he wants to dress to buy, it's upon him. So that kind of favors me a lot. And I'm so grateful. So men who are earning raw salary, and especially those who earn 800, God have mercy on them. It's going to be tough. Okay. Without wasting more time, these are the places that foreigners will no longer be working. Workshops. Yes, Saudi citizen will take over. It's not they they will take over. Some places it has taken Saudization has taken effect completely. So that I can tell because yeah, when I go to shopping mall, you can only you can see those shops, huh? You can tell, huh, that's not a foreigner, it's a Saudi citizen working there. If you go to any other sh store, you see, uh -huh, Saudi, that's a Saudi citizen, it's not a foreigner. So, yeah, it has already taken effect. Optical stores, yeah, those who wear grasses, sun grass, and uh, those kind of stuff. Number three, outlet that sells different kind of carpets. Yes, carpet shops. This is gonna the carpet shop for as long as I know. Pakistan dominates in this. Pakistans and uh, Indians. Oh my, they're gonna be affected with this because I know you can tell Pakistani by the way they you can tell Pakistani the way they dress and where we only whenever we go out with my boss I can tell. That carpet business mainly is done by Pakistan. It's going to affect them, I know. Furniture, shops, and home offices, materials. So any furniture store, it's no longer, it will no longer be um, be taken over by foreigners. It will be taken over by a Saudi citizen. Car spare parts shop. Hmm. Okay, no problem. Building material. Yes, I know somebody. My boss son works in a building material shop. So, that one. Those who work there, but I doubt this one. I don't know how many Saudi citizens, especially men. I don't want to say these people, they are lazy, but it's kind of, they don't like that you work. So who will be taking those iron sheets from the car to the store or when a customer comes to buy from the store to the customer car? Anyway, I know they will need some few foreigners there. Anyway, automobile shop. Uh -huh. Num what number is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Shop that sells children's clothes. Yeah. This one I know because I have seen so many women taking over many shops. Whenever we go out with my madam, I can tell. And especially women. Yeah. Uh -huh, number 11. Shop that sells men's surprise. So, this one you can tell mostly they are Filipinas and Indians. And uh, not many Africans. So, also that one, sadly, their choice. How, what can we say? Nothing. 
Uh -huh. Household utensil shops. Yeah, this one has already been taken by females. The last time we went shopping with my boys, I could count a lot of women there. Hmm? Not like before men used to sell. Another thing is pastry shop. That is bakery. Wow, that one has a lot of foreigners. I don't think there is any Saudi working there. Maybe if it's a manager who just go there and say, do this, do this. I mean, okay, I don't, I, have, I said, I have said that I don't want to say these people are lazy. No, it is their upbringing that everything, they are taught everything is done to them. Nothing they do by themselves. Very few do things by themselves. So everything if you want, I want this, do for me this, do for me this. They kind of like, you know those jobs, white color jobs. Just sit in the office. At 10 p.m. you can drink your coffee, you can read your carpet, you can play with your computer, then to your phone. Those are the kind of job they like. But pastry, where you are mixing duff, oil, cooking with oil, the kitchen is hot. This one, I doubt. I, I can feel that some foreigners here, they will be needed. Because foreigners sometimes, they, did, they are hardworking people. I, that one I can tell. They are really, really hardworking people. Oh, mechanics shop, I have said. Electronics shop. This one is occupied by most Indians. Oh, and to them, their job is taken over. So what can we say? Nothing. And all we can do is to wish Saudi all the best. They have been kind for to employ so many people from outside the country, and it's good. Now it's time to put their citizen first before the foreigners. It is understandable. I'm done with that. So until next time, goodbye. Please, please, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Give this video thumbs up. Yes.